Okay, so I'm out today. I'm going to be testing some new soft baits from Catch. They're the uh, new uh, six inch grubs that will be coming out soon. To show you what they look like, point that camera down. You anyway, know, these are the new six inch grubs, black label liveys from Catch. And what you can see is it's uh, quite quite chunky here you've got slits at the top and bottom so you know which way to orient it vertically and then the tail normally you have the tail pointed up when you rig it up on a jig head so yeah that's just another look so we've got samples here of a few different colors got the orange glowing gurnard which has a really strong glow it's the White Warrior, Tom Tom, which I've rigged up already. I'll show you how I rig these up. I just practiced on one at home. And then we've got banana and a green and yellow, and also a blue, which is the pilchard color. All right. What I'll do is I'll, um, I'll flick this one out. I'll just drag him behind on the jet ski. And then I'll rig up some other ones. I'll show you, show you how to put them on the jig heads. So pop this one on the PE2 setup. It's a bit heavy for soft baiting, but it's still nice and light. So this is the Ocean's Legacy Cloud 9 PE2 rod, which I use for super light jigging and heavy soft baiting. It's paired with a Pen Slammer 4. Uh, 2500. And I basically got the Slammer for jet ski fishing because of a uh, how water resistant it is. All right, so I'm using clips today. You can tie it straight onto the soft bait jig head to give it the most motion. Uh, I prefer to use clips because I like the ability to change the jig head and change the soft bait all through the day. And these are the Ocean's Legacy clips. Just twist them on, put a little swivel on it, which is nice because it's gonna prevent um, the the braid from um, twisting around because you've got a little swivel. It's very light. I don't think it will affect the motion at all of the soft bait. Now I'll cast that one out the back. I'm basically drifting towards the channel. So it will just I'll just cast it out the back that way. That can just sit in the rod holder. Always remember to set the right drag. Don't set the drag too high. So a big fish takes it, you don't want it to snap your rod. But you can't set it too loose either because it won't set the hook. All right, just leave that in the rod holder. I'll rig up the second one. All right, so I've got an orange one out. So I think I'll, um, what I'll do on a bright day is I'll fish with the blue one. So this, uh, this pilchard one here. A glowing pilchard and uh, the jig head I'm going to use I'm going to go real light with this one because I'll be casting and working it and go a quarter ounce so jig heads the weight in ounces also in grams I haven't really worked out the conversion yet myself so I printed it out on a little p-touch label machine what a uh, quarter ounce is it's seven grams three eight ounces ten grams so on and so on all the way up to one ounce. I've got it organized in this little double-sided tackle box and catch. So you can see here on one side got jig heads, the other side got soft baits. And yeah, from catch you've got two types of jig heads actually. You've got the new Harrier jig head, which is this one here. And it's got the traditional uh, grips on it. I've got them here in uh, three quarter ounce and one ounce. So this jig head's real good if you want to be able to just take the soft bait off and change the soft bait color while keeping the same jig head weight. And then we've also got the, the Tenya jig head, which has actually got a soft bait keeper and this wire. I found that this wire holds the soft bait really well. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy using this jig head. Now with these new grubs, as I said, you'd want the tail part pointing up on the jig head. So it'll be like this. 
just to give it the most motion have it pointing this way and how you align it so a lot of um, a lot of uh, soft baits have a deep cut on the belly and maybe a small cut on the top these prototype ones have two small cuts so I don't actually need to fret it out of the belly like a tra traditional soft bait what I'm just going to do is count how many grooves before I want the jig head to pop out I'm just going to count how many grooves so one, two, three, four, five, six probably around six or seven is where I want it to pop out which is about here and uh, it's going to pop out of this little cut down here so I'm just going to thread that in and just make sure it goes in nice and straight and remember I want it to pop out at number seven which is about here so go in a bit more I think that's about at seven have a look yep once I'm confident in that I'm just going to push that all the way through there you go pretty good came out right through the middle here there you go nicely rigged up a quarter ounce on a big six inch grub that's going to have a lot of motion in the water all right I'll rig this one up all right on the ocean's legacy clip this is probably the best way to show it just click it through there you go that's the blue one So, so far nothing happening on the, on the orange yet so I'll cast that blue out have a bit of a play some birds starting so my drift angle is that way and you never cast it straight into the drift angle you go off on a bit of an angle because then that way you'll drift past it and not drift straight over it I'm going to cast it that side And yeah, see what happens. I'm back at uh, Tacker Cliffs because uh, there wasn't much happening at the lighthouse. Just having uh, some chips, drinking some Coke, which you can see here. And yeah, I've hooked up. That is not big. I'm pretty sure it's undersized. I've only got about <clears throat> an hour left of fishing so I'll probably just do a few drifts here while I have some snacks just relax a bit but yeah I really like using um, curly tail style soft baits because I've got a lot of action in the water they just you don't have to work them too much they're really good for beginners because their tail is so long they just wiggle by itself in the water and I think the fish really like it only time I take a beginner out to uh, teach them soft baiting it's uh, almost always with a, with a curly tail soft bait 4 inch, 5 inch, 6 inch that's actually probably about 32 centimeters. the snapper it's not too bad so yeah, this is caught on the Tom Tom colour. Six inch curly tail grub from uh, from catch. Woo. Oh, it's good to good to catch a fish. Anyway, if you're uh, <clears throat> if you're new to watching my fishing channel on YouTube. And you're keen to see tutorials on you know how to soft bait how to uh slow pitch fish kaburas yeah hit subscribe that way uh you'll see uh the videos pop up on your channel feed when you uh log into youtube so thanks for that and yeah hit like on this video if you're enjoying it Yep, so this is a 35 centimeter snapper. So I'll keep that one. Haven't had fish fish for a while. Just uh, reset the drift after that fish. Um, the drift speed.
got to about one and a half knots or three kilometers an hour and uh, what that meant was uh, because it was drifting so fast oh, getting bites because the drift was so fast the lure and the jig head just lifts off the bottom so it's no longer sitting around the bottom where the snapper is so you get a lot less bites if the drift is uh, too fast or basically if the lure's not near the bottom or not on the bottom because the snapper is normally just on the bottom feeding on uh, you know, crabs, worms, shells if the drift gets too fast one of the things you can do is put on a heavier jig head so say if I was on half ounce probably go up to three quarter and if it gets real fast it can go up to one ounce but I generally don't use one ounce I find it a bit too heavy fishing uh, two rods at the moment had one in the normally just have one in the rod holder but kind of getting bites or it could just be bumping along the bottom at the moment I don't want it to snag anything so I want to react quite quickly to it that's why I'm holding both rods and the other thing you can do when it's uh, not uh, touching the bottom when the lure's you know lifting up from the bottom you can let out more line you got to let it out quite fast but still maintain contact because you could get bites as you're letting out line just watch that you don't get your fingers uh, tangled up in the braid because I have had uh, instances where I'm letting out line and it suddenly lets out a little bit faster and that's fish is taking the jig and then uh, could use lighter braid you know thinner braid that can help you cut through the water more but that's not something you can change while you're out fishing so yeah I would just recommend you know if the drift is too fast go somewhere where the drift isn't as fast or deploy a sea anchor uh, otherwise yeah just increase the weight of your jig head or let out line we'll do both that's it. that's how I would do it so this is going to be my last drift and then uh, I got to head back and clean up the ski and get ready to pick up my daughter from school oh almost snagged that one for now I'm not changing into heavier jig head because otherwise it will sink too fast with soft baiting you never want to go too heavy because then uh, the lure doesn't look natural anymore so you go as just as heavy as you need to get to the bottom that's the rule for soft baiting okay so I'm suddenly being picked up by the wind again and the drift is going to be quite fast um, yeah so I'll start letting out line as I need to Oh, getting bites um, and on this other rod I'll probably change to a heavier jig head because it's at uh, 3 8 ounce and that's way too light for the um, three kilometer drift I'll change it to three quarters go with the bruised banana so yeah I'll just show this getting rigged again so I know the tail want to be on top so if I thread that through that way then it will be, uh, well it's upside down now, but that way then the tail will be on the top side just flipping it around this way to make it easier to thread and yeah, as I said before, it's about 7 on the grub count 7 notches and I want it to come out through here because then I know it's centered you always want your soft bait presentation as good as possible keep things straight so just push that through about here it's about right and just push that all the way through so that the the grip is in the soft bait so I don't think it's gonna be real hard to pull that soft bait out which is good you're not losing soft baits so that's three quarter outs and I'll put it on the lighter setup now so yeah this is why I like using clips because then I can swap jig heads over quite quickly no need to retie so that's another one rigged up Banana Rama 